Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a good day. What is it about swinging that is so relaxing? So just a quick tour of my tiny house. Trust me, it won't take very long. When you first come in the door, I have this little shoe rack where I put most of my shoes when I get home from work. In this little corner here between the bar and the refrigerator, we have our little bitty freezer. Then we have our refrigerator in the kitchen. Excuse the shells here we shot some skeets and here is my kitchen <clears throat> this is the bar and uh, we're not quite finished with the bar we're going to put a piece that covers the stove probably put like some pine up here and cover this up then we have the kitchen um, i wanted a full sink and a full bar and also the bar is tall because me and my husband are both pretty tall and I didn't want to bend over in the sink so that's why this bar is like really tall here and here we have like a little nook where we keep our microwave and my coffee pot and then we have where we store our dry goods and we're going to put a um, we're going to put a door on this as well. And then under here, I wanted to keep it open just so we could store some miscellaneous things. I have my bucket for my garden, and then I have our cooler. So I just wanted a little space to um, store that stuff. Quite figured 
out what I want to do with this. I have my flour, my sugar, my cornmeal, and all my baking stuff in this tub. And I just haven't decided what, what I want to do with it, so that's where it's at right now. Here is our living room. And of course these stairs go up um, into our bedroom. Here I have just a little area where we store our hats and just needed a little bit more storage so I found this shelf here with the storage boxes. There's our dog bed. We have a full size TV in here. We open this door and here's the bathroom. Just like I put doors on this cabinet under the sink as well. And we have a full walk-in tiled shower. Room behind the door. I found this neat little um corner laundry hamper at Walmart for like 10 bucks and it works perfect right there. And we store um, our coats and our shoes and a few guns in there. That's a quick little tour for y'all. This month I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight so I did kind of a healthier version of my grocery hauls. Um, some of the things that I like to get obviously is an avocado I make guacamole and just eat it plain with salt and pepper. I try to keep an onion on hand. <clears throat> I found these noodles. And they're actually like low in calories. And you can eat quite a bit of them. I think they were like 160 calories for half the bag. And they're already like pre-cooked. So you just heat them up and add your sauce to it. This is my rice that I'm really liking right now. It's balsamati. Kind of has a sweet flavor to it. And I also get these if I'm in a hurry. These are just throw them in the microwave and that's a brown balsamati and those are really good as well. If I need a quick breakfast, I'm liking these low sugar variety packs of the Quaker Oatmeal. I also found this in the cereal aisle, this Love Crunch, and I love to add it to my yogurt. This one is dark chocolate and red strawberries, and it is really good. And this one's actually organic as well. Always keep these chips on hand. Um, you can actually eat quite a few of these and not um, have a lot of calories in them, and those are the corn chips. These are actually my favorite brand. I just eat them by themselves, or I eat them with <clears throat> my avocado and my guacamole and we also have a lot of tacos so I use those in my tacos with my tacos these are this is some fruit that I got I actually got the pineapple because I want to make some kebab sundae with my chicken I found this syrup I haven't tried it yet it's like a vanilla maple syrup it just sounded really good so I thought I'd try it of course, syrup is not the best for you, so I just add just a little bit on my pancakes. And I found these protein-packed um, pancakes from Kodiak. Um, I've tried the chocolate ones. I'm going to try these flapjack ones and see how they taste. And they are whole grain, and they're packed with protein. I love to keep bell peppers on hand. You can make stuffed bell peppers, um, chicken fajitas, steak fajitas. And I love these Extreme Wellness wraps. They are 100% um, whole grain and flaxseed and very low in calories. I love to wrap these in this turkey that you can get. This is the Cajun um, Kentucky brand turkey. 
I always try to keep some organic chicken on hand, which is actually kind of hard to find right now. This is the last package, so I'm glad I got to get it. <clears throat> and this is some asparagus. Asparagus is kind of a hit and a miss. These look good, so I went ahead and grabbed them, and I was going to try to grill them up. This is one of my favorite yogurts. This is a whip, a Yo Play whip, and this is vanilla cupcake. I think it still only had like 80 calories in it for a good protein packed snack. Here's another one of my favorite ones. This one has 15 grams of protein in it, so I eat these after a workout often with my granola. And I found this. This is a sugar free honey mustard dipping sauce. I've been eating it for the past couple of days, and it is so good. I always try to keep garlic on hand, plenty of spices on hand. This is one of my favorite um, coffee creamers. It's like a natural coffee creamer. It only has like three ingredients in it, and this one is vanilla. And um, I think it's like 35 calories per tablespoon. I also found this, everything with the bagel seasoning. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm actually excited to just give that a try. I want some bread. I'm just kind of dieting right now, so... Um, and I found this. This is a chipotle parmesan, and I've been putting it on different things, but I actually put it on my corn when I grilled it. I found these chicken and apple sausages. Um, I haven't tried this brand yet, but I have tried a different brand. I like to um, just cook this up with some eggs for a quick breakfast. And in my freezer, I always try to keep these steam fresh vegetables just to throw in the microwave. I have broccoli sweet potatoes and um, I have some green beans and I have some mixed vegetables and I always try to keep shrimp on hand as well and in my freezer we um, <clears throat> are lucky enough that we had a friend who processes beef so we got a bunch of beef from him I keep my husband some sausage and biscuits in there and I found these little ears of corn and they're like sweet little nibbler corn on the cob is what they're called and they are so good I really enjoyed this um, type of this brand of fish as well it is actually my favorite and I actually buy the wild caught brand this is kind of how I eat when I am trying to watch what I'm eating I cooked these yesterday on the grill <clears throat> and I just wrapped the corn in foil, put some butter on it, and that ch chipotle parmesan seasoning that I showed y'all. I cut up one of the golden potatoes, put it in foil, put a little bit of butter and salt and pepper on it. And then with the chicken, I put a little bit of chili sauce on it, some lime juice, and some soy sauce. And I grilled it on the grill. And I like to eat it with a sugar-free honey mustard. And of course, I'm trying to drink plenty of water. I thought I would do a quick little get to know me while I was getting ready today. I'm actually 30 years old. I am married. My husband does own his own lawn care business. I work in the nursing home. Um, September will be my 12th year being there, I do believe. Uh, my face is broke out a little bit because we were having to wear a mask. <clears throat> so my face is kind of staying broke out, um, like around my chin and my face where we're having to wear that mask. But it's not a big deal. The safety of the residents is the most important thing. Um, I'm so ready to get my hair done. My roots are awful. <laughs> but I thought I need to just put on some makeup today and feel a little bit better about myself. And um, I don't actually wear a lot of makeup most days. Um, but when I do, it's just kind of a quick routine that I do. Put on a little bit of foundation and put on a little bit of mascara and usually some type of lip product. Um, we don't have any children. Um, we have been together going on in 13 years and married 11 years. We do have a lab and a blue healer. We are still currently working on the house, so if you kind of notice that the ceiling isn't done, um, 
we're actually going to put tin up on the ceiling and that's our next project to get done. Um, like if you see in the insulation in the corner, we're going to put the insulation up and then put the ceiling up. We still have several things left outside to do like finish the underpinning, um, gravel, and building my back porch as well. Um, just little things like that that we still have to get finished. Um, it's all been out of pocket costs, that way we don't have a big house payment. Um, that's kind of our goal. And a few things we have to finish upstairs, like I have to build a closet for my clothes and then build a closet around the washer and dryer. I do appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video. If you have any more questions, just post some questions below. I'd love to get to know y'all as well. Um, I do hope that y'all are staying safe and having a good day. And please don't forget to subscribe.